Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm the Crypto Lifer. Thanks so much for coming in and hitting the link. I really appreciate it. If you like my content and the vibe that I provide, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit that like button. Let's get into the content. Today, I want to talk about the top 10 coins that could make you a millionaire. That's right, the top 10 coins to possibly 10 million. That's right. I've gone over these coins. Some of them are new. Some of them are old. I've been researching them for years. I've actually had to rack my brain over my favorite top 10. And you know what? I've done the math. I've looked at it all. And I've decided that these are my winners. If you stay tuned, I'm going to give you my top 10. And at the very end, I'm even going to give you a bonus, the 11th one. The last one that maybe I can't fit in my portfolio, but I wish I could. So without further ado, let's go. My top 10 from Adam to Ziliqua. A to Z, baby. Let's do it. Stay tuned. I figured I would go in alphabetical order. I'm not going to go in order as importance because I think you need them all. I think they're all important to the portfolio and I think they all bring something to the table. I'm going to start with number one, Adam, which is also Cosmos. Why is Adam so important? Why is it amazing? Well, Adam is just going to revolutionize blockchain. Now, a lot of blockchains really can't talk to each other. They're out there, but we can't have interoperability. Also, if you build on top of a blockchain, you have to deal with called sovereignty, meaning you have to deal with the governance on that blockchain. If you build on Ethereum and you have to change something to your app or make a tweak, you have to do it underneath the governance of Ethereum. Now, not with Atom and Cosmos. You're going to be able to make your own blockchain with your own governance and actually connect it to their hub. They're going to have a main hub that can connect to multiple blockchains and make the whole world interoperable. In their words right here, this is a beautiful way of saying it, but just check it out. This is Cosmos in a nutshell. Applications through IBC. Using these tools, new blockchain applications can be built at record speed, connecting and transferring data and assets with each other for the first time in history. With Cosmos, blockchain technology has the power to revolutionize open finance, prediction markets, cross-border payments, healthcare, real estate, and more. Contribute to the Cosmos vision for a world of explosive economic growth through the power of connected blockchains. Cosmos. Anyway, it's going to be outrageous. It also utilizes an amazing technology, PBFT, Practical Byzantine Fault Tolerance. This is going to separate it from almost all the other projects out there, and it's going to make it far faster and more scalable. So if you don't have Adam in your list, I think you're going to be missing out. Adam is going to be a big coin and it's going to make you a lot of money. I'm telling you, Adam is $5 and 49 cents and it's in my bag, baby. That brings us to number two, band protocol. Band protocol is amazing. It's an Oracle similar to Chainlink. It's going to connect outside APIs into blockchain, making the world more scalable, faster, and making decentralized blockchains the wave of the future. It's an amazing project. And coming in at $7.22, Band already has already gone from a dollar up to about $16, or $16, $17, literally this summer. Band did an 18x this summer and came back down to around $3.92. To accumulate this coin would be a smart decision. Buy it when you can on the dips and have it in your portfolio. I'm telling you right now, Band is going to revolutionize the game. Band also utilized Tendermint which is part of Cosmos's amazing infrastructure with that practical Byzantine fault tolerance. That's what I'm saying. It's going to be far more scalable. Band and Atom basically create a double punch to really propel your portfolio to the next level. Number three, Polkadot. Polkadot, you've been hearing a lot about DOT, D-O-T. That's right. It's going to really run an infrastructure inside of DeFi. It's going to be like its own universe or ecosystem. What's amazing about it is it's heterogeneous meaning it can be interoperable with all types of blockchains, small, large, young, old, it really doesn't matter. They can fit into this blockchain and actually work inside of its ecosystem. There's really no stopping Polkadot. It's going to be implemented and it's going to have multiple DeFi projects swirling around it all the time. Polkadot coming in at $5.41, you really don't want to miss it has a market cap of 4.7 billion. It's growing. It's a big boy. It's number nine in the market cap list. So it may move a little sluggish, but we already did a video on it earlier in my channel, projecting it to go probably well over $200. So look for Polkadot. If it went from five to 100, that's a 20X. I think conservatively, you can get 25X in your money on Polkadot. Look for it to become a big player in the year of 2021. Polkadot coming in 
at number three. Number four, Ethereum. Do I really even need to discuss Ethereum? Do I need to go into high detail? With Ethereum 2.0 staking coming out just two days ago and being able to get about 10% back a year if you stake 32 ETH on a node, I think it's gonna be amazing. Also, Binance saying they're gonna stake with BETH, B -ETH, which is BETH. Also, Coinbase saying they're gonna actually let the staking go on. Multiple exchanges, even Kraken, are supporting ETH 2.0. This is amazing. Right off the jump, it has the support it needs for the ecosystem and the whole economy to move forward with ETH 2.0. So I just think if you're not involved in ETH, the second biggest cryptocurrency, and you don't have a stake in it, you're going to be mad when it rips. Now, what percentage of your portfolio should have ETH? That's really up to you. I think at least a good amount, around maybe 10 to 12% would be fair, but that is up to you. But I'm telling you right now, you got to have some ETH in your portfolio. The fifth coin that I think is a must have is Icon, ICX. That's right, Icon is gonna be basically the Ethereum of South Korea. It's gonna change the game in that part of the world and actually connect the entire world. They aim to become the biggest decentralized platform in the world, connecting almost all types of payment systems. Now, Icon is only 43 cents right now. Its all time high was $12. If this gets a $12, my gosh, that's basically more than a 25X right now for Icon. $1 would turn into $25. If you put $1,000, it would turn into $25. $10,000, forget about it. So Icon, I'm telling you right now, is something that you want to have in the bag at number five. The sixth coin that I think you should have in your bag is IOST, only at six tenths of a penny. It's not even a penny yet. It's 0 0.006. And this is why I think you should have it. It has one of the biggest teams. It's called Internet of Services Token. That's really what it stands for. And it's really going to create basically smart money throughout the entire internet. It's going to be an amazing, an amazing project. Look for IOST to really take over. It got its hands into DeFi. It's going to be one of the strongest DeFi projects, even though you don't know it yet. Look out for IOST to blow your mind. I'm telling you, you are going to miss out if you don't have some IOST. There's a lot of DeFi projects out there, but I don't think they have the potential that IOST has. And I don't think they're as low priced as IOST is. With a market cap of only $95 million and a rank of 109 of all the cryptocurrencies, IOST is still a diamond in the rough that a lot of people have overlooked. I am telling you right now, in the last bull run of 2017, I looked for gems that were under a penny. Sia coin was the one that I picked that would go to 10 cents. I was able to 20X my money on that. IOST is that coin. If you just get to six cents, this thing is a 10X. Can you believe that? 12 cents, it is a 20X. And if this could go anywhere near 50 cents to a dollar, my goodness, this could make your life. So, needless to say, number six, IOST. Number seven, Chainlink. That's right, Chainlink. How could you not have Chainlink? I mean, coming in as the number six biggest coin in coin market cap in the game at 1397, Chainlink is actually pretty cheap right now, in my opinion. Having already gone up to 19 from a dollar 78 earlier from basically late spring into the summertime, Chainlink has already shown what it can do when there's major FOMO going on for Chainlink. It's on Coinbase number one. So the average person has complete access to Chainlink. It's not like IOST where it's gonna take a little while to form. Chainlink is going to be a boss coin. It's going to take over. Chainlink is an Oracle connecting the world APIs into the blockchain. It basically kind of competes with band in a little bit, but I think there's room for all of these things to grow. Chainlink is amazing. It does have a big market cap of 5.5 billion. It'll take a lot to move it. They call the people that love Chainlink Link Marines, very similar to the XRP army. There's a die hard group of people that love their Chainlink. Chainlink is something I think you should have a bag. I've been buying $25 with a Chainlink every week for the last six months. Ever since it crossed the $2 region, I decided that Chainlink was a bag I had to have. So at number seven, Chainlink. Number eight, the banker's coin, XRP. That's right, XRP. Now, after the run-up we just had, 
I'm sure you may have FOMO'd into XRP or wished you had some if you didn't. Cool thing about XRP is the XRP army, when it goes up, it's just a fun group of people to be around. And the euphoria and the craziness and the Twitter memes. And it's just, I have to be honest, it's fun to be there around holding XRP when XRP goes up. It is a dormant coin. It sits at the same price for a long time. Some people joke and called it a stable coin for a while. It was at 25 cents for damn near a year. But now at 63 cents and having going to an high of about 80 already, look for XRP to probably go over a dollar by year's end. What is XRP and what does it do? It basically is a back-end liquidity provider for large institutions and banks. It can move billions of dollars around for basically tenths of a penny. It helps banks move money freely throughout the globe. And it's going to actually free up $20 trillion of money that's stuck in the SWIFT system because we're sending it back and forth and it's taken three days. XRP will make these transactions take seconds. It's scalable. It's fast. And it's going to be an amazing tool to help our economy. I think once XRP gets implemented, the price will have to rise because it's going to have to take in $20 trillion of liquidity. Once the Forex market and all sorts of other financial markets beginning to use XRP on the back end, we could see an influx in price you could not believe. Please look at my XRP price prediction video that I just did the other day. Hit a thousand views overnight. I think you'll like that video. Check it out. It'll give you some more insight into XRP. But that's why XRP comes at my list at number eight. XRP. Number nine. She's a beauty, that number nine. Oh, yeah, she is. And that token is Share Token. That's right. Sharing is the company. Share Token is the asset. Coming in at zero, two cents, and one tenth of a cent. So about two cents right now. Sharing is a steal. It's on its way. It looks beautiful on the daily chart. Really, today is a good day to buy sharing. I don't know if you'll get it any cheaper. It's at the bottom of the pattern. It's made multiple moves up and down already. And right now is a really, really good price. I do have to say myself. Sharing, what does it do? Why am I investing in it? Tim Boss, he is the co-founder and he created what's called Keys, a car sharing company. He also has a track record with GE Capital. Investing in Tim Boss is a good move. I'm telling you, whatever he touches turns to gold. I like his new project sharing, and I think it's going to do amazing. With deals with Rakuten and Tencent, a top five company in the world, it's almost impossible for sharing to fail. What does sharing really do? Well, what it does is it's going to have an app that's coming out in the Q1 of 2021, and that app is basically going to let you call an Uber car, create a plane ticket, uh, go to a restaurant, hotel, all of these things in one app where you will end up paying with the share token, but you won't even know about it. The average person will be using cryptocurrency through the app without even knowing. It's going to make traveling and setting up accommodations a breeze. Also, it can implement an actual visa, an electronic visa into the app where basically you won't need a passport anymore. You'll be on the blockchain through the sharing app that will also get you to move internationally through the world. So to help you travel, to help you have an international ID that can get you through things easily, sharing is really going to be a big, big player in the game. At the price of two cents right now, this is an undervalued asset that is going to to go through the moon i think i've uncovered a gem here of gems it should probably be number one but it's number nine just because it is in an s and i did this in alphabetical order so don't worry number 10 yf die finance you may have heard of yfi you may have heard of die this is yf die finance coming in at two thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars a share for one coin it's damn near three grand now, why? The circulating supply is only 4,000, 3,986 tokens right now. If you have one of these, you are in the minority. You are basically like a special person holding a very gem, gem coin, a coin that not many people have. The total supply is only 21,000. It's going to have a very, very small supply. Now, in September, this coin was only $200, right? On September 10th, it was $200 a coin, 195 bucks. It has 15x since then. In three months, it's 15x. On top of that, you can stake this coin for 6% a month. That's right, 6% a month? That is a 72% a year APY. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. So if you had gotten in at $200, let's just say, and for a thousand bucks, you got five of these, right? Now you have $15,000. Your $1,000 has turned into $15,000. And if you staked it during that time, you have made 
18% on that, and it's compounded over time. Now you're gonna make 6% a month on your 3,000. This is amazing. Say you only had two coins right now at $2,900, okay? And it's 5,800, and you times that by 0 0.06, you're gonna make $348 off of two coins in one month, just staking this coin. Add that to your balance and keep staking. Oh my God, the compounding interest that could come out of holding YF die is just absolutely insane. So that's why I feel like it has to be included. Number two, now Uniswap did really good and it was a, de it was a decentralized exchange that almost anyone could post any coin up there no matter how illegitimate it was. Many people got hurt and lost a lot of money on fake projects. YF die is gonna have what's called safe swap. They're gonna actually vet any project that they let you swap coins with. So hopefully, unless someone really gets their way through the ecosystem, we're gonna find out who the bad actors are and it's gonna protect you. The odds of you making an amazing investment through YF Dye Safe Swap are way better than on Uniswap because it's gonna be looking out for your best interest. I think a coin that's already doing that on top of having the staking and the small circulating supply, I really don't know how YFI couldn't be a winner in the coming bull run. Now, I'm gonna give you a bonus, an 11th coin. I did say I did these in alphabetical order, so I felt it only right if I started with Adam to end with Ziloqua. And I love Ziloqua. I think it's an amazing project, only at three cents too, with a market cap of 368 million, it does have a lot of room to grow. This thing could actually become a juggernaut in the game. Why do I like Ziloqua? Well, it's doing something different than a lot of coins. It's using sharding instead of proof of stake and it makes it far more scalable and fast. It can handle multiple transactions in a second, and it's actually something that could be used greatly, trading, all sorts of decentralized applications. I like the team behind Ziliqua, extremely smart, extremely organized, and I just think it's going to be an amazing, amazing project. That's why I'm adding it as a bonus, Ziliqua. That sharding is really gonna take it to the next level. It's doing something that a lot of other projects are not doing and priced only at three cents. I think it's very, very undervalued. There's my list for you guys. And yes, I do own a bag of every single coin I talked about, but I would never actually tell you about a coin that I didn't own. Some would say I'm shilling my bags. I look at it differently. I'm actually putting my money where my mouth is. I would never tell you to invest in something that I personally haven't invested in. I would love it if in the comment section you tell me what your list looks like. If you think some of my coins aren't as good as others, let me know. Do you have a list that could compete against mine? I would love to see whose does better at the end of the bull run. Just for fun, it would be amazing, right? If you like my content and you would like to become a lifer, please hit the link in the description below to join my Telegram group. If you wanna get into trading or you've been trading for a while and you just need some expertise advice, I do give one-on-one -on -one tutoring as well for $75 an hour if that's something you're looking for. Price will go up in 2021. I'd like to have everyone in my team and in my group really good at charts, really good at trading so that we can be super strong in my Crypto Lifer trading group. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you can find out when I post my next video and don't forget to hit that like button. It means the world to me. Thank you guys so much. If you came to my channel, then you're already doing the right thing. Crypto is life.